quirk support duo. They can gank mid, but it will require that mid lane hero to probably be in river and without that much vision. With that offensive dual lane here from Empire is kind of risky. We'll keep EGM in lane, so this Crystal Maiden is not jungling. But she is, uh, you know, against these heroes. As long as she's careful, probably going to get a steady stream of experience. The only thing she has to be scared of is going into the trees and then getting caught with Mposhka's battery assault. Bottom lane is definitely going to be very action heavy as Mposhka is going to find EGM in the woods. A little fire blast the axe first. Battery assault going to slow down EGM a little bit, but it's not going to be enough to save Ghost Stick. Right clicks will get the kill on this battery assault. It's just not doing enough. Now hit with the Orb of Venom, Mposhka, Battery Assault, getting him a little bit of space ahead of Hanskin, but still, the Fire Blast is there, right clicks, will get the Ogre a double. EGM's taking creep shots the entire time, but the CM is more than okay. No range spells from this act, he's only level 1. He'll drop down to half HP upon his arrival in an absolutely terrible situation for any team to be in where they are forced to do that. Jonas Fan is going to skewer back the clockwork, caught in the cogs now. Metamorph is there, Jonas Fan gonna get some help from a TP. Cog pushed back with the right clicks from the Terror Blade. So much damage. We'll get the kill. EGM goes up for a Frostbite. Luckily for him, some clean experience, as pretty much all Winter Wyverns just want to do. If you look at the clockwork, he's done very little. You'll find Hanskin in the jungle. Rune going to be respawning here for Hanskin. He's going to give him regen, not really do anything. Battery Assault will do a lot of damage here. And this is the power of clockwork support, because he can do damage like that. But in a 1v4 situation, he does not have much game. And Loda will come in, one run impressive crowd control spell. They really do need long range to be able to start things off. They also need to save Ghost Stick right now. There's an embrace, give Ghost Stick a little bit of extra gas here. As is going to teleport back in towards bottom. They'll slow down the CM and the Ogre. Splinter Blast into EGM and slow them down even further. Call is not going to happen. Although we will get the dunk out Ghost Stick. We'll take a lot of damage from Loda with the Calling Blade. Movement speed, though, will get out to the side and should survive. Naposhka? Probably not. I'm not really sure how a clockwork is supposed to get out of here. Just run, man. Run and hope that that axe doesn't kill you. Well, it killed him. Try to pick off the supports once you find them. Ghost Stick. Has a shiny new toy, and Loda, EGM, Hanskin are all gonna feel it. Gets hit first, Bash though! Now they're freezing field, and EGM will get cursed up. And Loda's gonna lay into his friendly CM. Poor CM, never saw it coming. And now here comes secondary initiation from the Storm Spirit onto Loda. This troll needs some help, but will fall quickly. And the dunk will kill off Hanskin. It's an easy three kill. Four kill, actually, as Maposhka. Oh, TP coming in from the Ogre Magi. Not sure if that's the best move, although oh, he has some backup from Limp. And he has more backup coming in from the CM. They will take down the Axe fairly quickly. Tower still taking a lot of damage here. Chappie will take it down and will disengage towards the north. Hanskin giving chase, although we'll get fogged a little bit there. Can't ignite. And up towards top FN will prompt Alliance into some sort of answer here. Illusion's going to be destroyed. They know exactly what's going on, but can they do anything about this? Seems like no, it's a little bit too late. Shot in is going to get Maposhka into this engagement. Takes a freezing field to the face, but grabs the Aegis. Where's the rest of Empire? They're coming in. Curse now onto the OD. Troll Warlord can do so much damage to his friend. Set up for a two-man call. RP whip from Jonas Fan off to the side. Will not save the OD nor the troll. And Hanskin also will fall. Oh my god, Maposhka. Sentry dropped. There we go. Kill that Observer. Got him. The Ogre, me, D Ward. Over in the side though. EGM caught by Maposhka. Super dead CM. I wasn't even sure if FN was forced to ball letting that much to get that kill. They find anyone else. King R wants to curse someone. Can should a winter's curse land? It's like a fight is brewing. Clockwork up in the north side is going to find EGM along with FN. CM again. Blown to hell. So clockwork. He messed up and hit battery assault. They might get a chance to use it. This really takes long if they can stall him up. Reflection. They give them a troll illusion. That doesn't do a lot. It is just buying time for the battery assault. There it is. The illusion going to be sent in. OD not going to clear this one. And off in the backside, they're going to try to pressure the OD very early on. FN is going to dodge the RP. No, it's actually held by Jonas and Fan. Never mind. He is still going to distract away. Pull out a freezing field. And in the middle of things, Ghost Stick and Chappie. Just now going to right click down Loda, who got left behind by the rest of his team. They'll take down Jonas and Fan as well. No RP in this fight. FN may die here. He may not. It doesn't really matter. They've already gotten so much. And now with the embrace, they'll keep the Storm Spirit alive as Chappie and Poshka charging in looking for the ogre. 
I don't know if the ogre can survive this. FN using the rest of his mana pool to get in for a little bit of revenge. Such a great distraction play from this storm spirit, and I don't know if that orc is gonna kill. No, not quite, but on skin teleporting out. Are you serious? Cogs will grab him in and get the kill. That zoning play from the Sun of Bloodstone and an Aegis, so he is fully confident in making these plays. And the tower will be chipped down slowly but surely by Chappie. Rax available. Limp gonna jump in. Call immediately is there. Trying to pull the Ogre out of his base, but with the Imprisoned, they'll save him. But that's not the concern here. The concern is over in mid. Hookshot in, trying to save Chappie from the skewer. They do get him out of there. Freezing kill from EGM. Not gonna last that long as Chappie's just gonna let loose into him. Troll Warlord in the cogs will lose his head. Now the jump in from FN, looking for Limp. And they will imprison the OD, but he's going to pop back into a static remnant at the very least. And a couple of extra heroes. And a dunk? No! Dunk from Ghost Stick. Okay, well, uh, that that was still a good fight for Empire, with, even without the dunk. They take mid racks. They're gonna take bottom racks too, it seems. Still RP is available, but even if you land an RP, there's no follow-up to it. They jump in, silence up the Magnus, and chop his head off. Ivory Trade is gonna be uh, having an influx tonight. We got Axe caught in the back. He will fall. You know some fan? Oh, looking for an RP, but it gets caught up in the curse. Link out from the Winter Wyvern. No, TP out from the Winter Wyvern. We'll get her out to safety and a oh, poor EGM. Nowhere near safety. We'll get picked off by the Storm Spear for the up team's time. Terrible. Storm is still just fine here. Limp and Hanskin pushing forward. Because Loda is stalking Maposhka right now. Second guessing it. Oh, FN picking off Hanskin in the back. Now picking a fight with the OD. Hookshot is going to stun Loda and get the clockwork on top of the OD. This teamwork from Empire. And the hesitation from Loda, actually spotted right now, observers and sentries up on the high ground. Poshka wants to fight this, and Loda, he just should get the hell out of here. Shiva's, oh, he's gonna overshoot. Actually, no, there's another target down here. It's the Magnus. RP once again will be not used. It's Poshka picking a fight with Loda with the evasion. Loda's just having trouble doing the damage needed. He will finally get the kill, but at what cost? FN will get another one. 9-0 and 8. 27 bloodstone charges. GG is called. 30 minutes in. Oh geez, uh, this game was <laughs> much like the last game. What happens when you put all your eggs in this troll warlord?